At least 46 Oregon residents have been ordered to surrender their firearms as a result of a new law that allows for, quote, extreme risk protection orders. These are the red flag laws. Now, this is where other citizens, it varies, you know, state by state, but they can include family members, they can include roommates and significant others. They can petition the court to take a firearm, to take a gun owner's firearm from them without an, an investigation, without due process. And if a judge approves, then law enforcement, they seize the weapons of the gun owner and they permit them the opportunity after the seizure to prove their innocence after the fact. Now, as we've discussed here many times, that's not how due process works. And due process is a cornerstone of this republic. This type of law takes the need for investigation and police off of the table. And it puts citizens in the position of operating as the investigator. Hmm. Now, as I mentioned in the earlier segment, many regular protective orders don't become permanent. And this is a well-known issue with protective orders while they have their place. And believe me, I know from experience, they can be done for vindictive reasons. And the difference here is that these protective orders will deprive citizens of their legally owned and legally purchased property, even if it turns out that the petitioner had bad reasons for requesting it, ripe for abuse and a total bastardization of due process. We're not a nation that presumes guilt, but this law and others like it do exactly that.